think uh, for Burlington, the most important uh, piece is going to be what's, what's going to happen with local aid and what's going to happen with the budget for the next couple of years. Um, first of all, you'll hear today that the governor is, will be doing some what they call 9C cuts, more cuts. And looking at the uh, revenues for this year, uh, they're already down $212 million and they project to be down about $600 million for the year. I think more importantly though is, is we're <coughs> looking at about a 2 to $3 billion structural deficit in our budgets for, for, the, uh, for, the, for the state. Uh, and the way that breaks down is you have, we have about a $32 billion budget in the state. And the way that we get the revenues for that, it's about $18 billion in our income or revenues by capital gains, income tax, and sales tax. Uh, somewhere around $8 billion comes in from the federal government on Medicaid reimbursements. And then you have around $4 billion for other revenues that come in. Uh, the way we made up some of our gap last year uh, was our uh, stabilization fund, our free cash, our savings. Or, and our stimulus money from the federal government. That accounted for about $2 billion. Uh, that's going to be one-time money. We're not going to see that again. Uh, so we're, we're going to need to, we have some very serious issues that we're going to be facing. And uh, the governor's going to be asking us to do the uh, legislature to give him the approvals to do 9C cuts. And what that means is that would be local aid cuts and some cuts in Chapter 70 money would, would affect Burlington. Uh, I'm not so sure what we're going to do. I want to hear what they ask for first. Uh, I'm very concerned about um, local aid to our local communities that provide uh, education, uh, for fire protection, and many other services. Uh, so we're, we're going to have to take a real strong look at that. Um, the, uh, what Burlington, the, we had special bills that were done in uh, Burlington for them to do a fire station, to put that out to bid for uh, to have a fire station built by a uh, private company, and that uh, that is uh, that was done uh, in the House and done in the Senate. Um, we had the uh, stimulus; they were looking at phase two, uh, and that was, uh, I believe, that Mitre Corporation finally had to get the agreement uh, to do that, some of that work up there, and all of the studies have done. So they're looking to do some expansions up off the Middlesex Turnpike, phase two of that uh, construction. Uh, a couple of things that we've done so far, and actually I, I thought it was funny, Kevin, that you uh, started talking about the paper and ethics, uh, and then you introduced me. <laughs> <laughs> Pol politician and ethics, so, you know, it hasn't been uh, popular, but we did do, this year we did an ethics reform bill, and, and hopefully we need to make sure that uh, we do ethics reform and, and, and make sure that's tightened up, because people have to have trust in their government, especially in times when we have uh, everything's so difficult. Uh, we have to do that. We have transportation reform we did this year, uh, pension reform. The budget cuts already in my office, we had cut 20% of our budget last year for my office alone. Uh, and we're looking at, uh, we took furloughs last year. I took, I took furloughs last year and uh, we're looking at nine, I'm looking at nine days and more furloughs for this year and looking at more budget cuts. Uh, we've cut, uh, we've already done layoffs in state uh, the state government, we're looking at more layoffs, somewhere around 2,000 more layoffs uh, if things don't change. Uh, so we've, uh, we've done, we've, we've been tightening our belt and we've got more tightening to do. Um, getting back to that two to three billion dollars, if we're going to, the only way that we're going to make that up is by more cuts uh, or revenue enhancements somehow, or for another term, taxes. Uh, or uh, federal government has to come back with some more stimulus money. That doesn't happen. Uh, local aid will be cut. Chapter 70 money, education money will be cut, and you'll see cities and towns uh, being great. Now, fortunately, Burlington is a great community, and I'm so happy to be able to represent the communities I represent, including Burlington. Burlington is a well-run community. They do a great job, and, and uh, I know all of you probably have had a part of that. You can withstand this downturn a little bit better than most. 